If you observe the universe carefully, every element in the universe is constantly serving, constantly. I was looking at life and going, what do I want my life to be about? And I saw successful people who were depressed, I saw rich people who were sad, and I saw famous people who in the end had to find a new way of getting happy. And just this week as we're talking, we saw what happened to Kate Spade and Anthony Bourdain and rest in peace to both of them and you know, blessings and, and our best wishes and prayers for both of them and, and the millions of other people in the world that we don't know about, yeah. like in the people that we don't talk about and we don't see because they're not famous and well known. At 18, I was awakened to the belief and understanding that if I did not focus on my consciousness, there was no such thing as happiness and meaning. If I didn't go inward, there was no chance of longevity in any form right. because I saw all of this around me. So what I saw in the monks that was different is that they almost had tapped in to the way of the universe. And I'll explain what I mean by that. What I mean is that if you observe the universe carefully, every element in the universe is constantly serving, constantly. The water provides us with energy. The trees provide us with nutrition. The oxygen is just fueling our bodies yeah. and it's taking nothing from us. You look at the tree, when you take shade of a tree, the tree doesn't say that will be $2. Thanks. And now we're bottling up air and selling it, right? <laughs> There's oxygen <Yeah>. bars. <laughs> but, but the point being that there is every element, the sun is giving light and it is growing our plants and vegetables. The rain is growing our plants and vegetables. Every element in the universe is serving. And what I learned as a monk, and you speak about this, and we just experienced it so deeply when we were there, is the only way to be aligned with the universe is to serve. Because then you're acting in alignment. Because the universe is serving. So when you're serving, you are now in the universe. You're now mm -hmm. with the universe. The universe is your ally. Whereas as long as you're trying to serve yourself and be greedy, you're now working against the universe. So when people talk about like, the universe has your back, or you should work with the universe, or be aligned with the universe, that's what it means. Universe isn't about, oh universe, I want a big car, like give it to me. That's yeah. not being aligned with the universe. Being aligned with the universe is choosing service as your focus. So one of the things about gratitude is that studies show that when you're in gratitude, when you're feeling gratitude, you can't be in another state. So you can't be angry or sad or disappointed when you're being grateful. So grateful for me is like a seed. And when you're grateful, you plant this seed in your life, which is gonna grow a beautiful tree and shade and fruits. And it helps you avoid what I call weeds in our life. So when we're planting sadness or disappointment or anger, these are like weeds in our life. So every day I'm trying to plant seeds of gratitude and I recommend doing it the first thing you do in the morning, but even more importantly, the last thing you do before you go to bed. Because when you do it before you go to bed, you wake up with gratitude in the morning. So it programs your mind to be grateful the next day. Awakening signifies that we're asleep. When you say we have to become woke or awaken, or any of these words that we're using now, rising above, it all means that we're asleep. So even though we think we're awake, we're saying we're consciously asleep. And therefore the earth, people around us, conscious creators, everyone you've mentioned, are simply all trying to wake each other up. And we all know that when you don't wake up in the morning, the alarm just has to get louder and louder and louder. And if the alarm doesn't get louder and louder and louder and louder, we don't wake up. And so if you see the earth in a state of emergency, if you see the environment in a state of emergency, if you're looking at the world in a state of emergency, it's because the alarm is just getting louder and louder and louder and trying to say, wake up, like, like wake up, you know? And so for me, that's the process that we all need to go through. Just as it's tough to wake up in the morning after you've been out to a party, you've had too much to drink, you've done something that you weren't proud of or you've wasted your time. Just as it's hard to wake up every morning when you've done that the night before, it's hard to wake up consciously when that's all you've done for lifetimes, like when that's all you've done for your whole life. That's how hard it is. And I think that's why we struggle.